So if you're doing an anime style water that looks like this... Stop it! Get some help! You're in the right place, because today we're making an anime style water shader that has all the good stuff like surface distortion, interaction with objects, parallax, caustics and much more. But instead of talking about it, let's just jump into Blender and I'll show you how it's done. First, it's always best to approach complex stuff with the divide and conquer method. So I divided my water shader into four more digestible milestones. So the first problem I had to solve was how to get the information about any object intersecting with my water plane into the shader editor. It was also the time when I almost gave up because literally nothing worked for me no matter what I tried to do. And also because I have an attention span of a minion which didn't help. But then I remember that when all the hope is lost there's always the physics tab where I can always look for help and more specifically, the dynamic paint. And even more specifically, the canvas and... You, you get the point. Just one disclaimer, make sure you have enough vertices to work with, so just subdivide the plane a few times and you're good to go. So I immediately started to play with all the settings there, looking for something that would work best for me, and after some time of tweaking I arrived at this, which is letting me add a brush to any object I want, which in turn gives me the mask around the mesh that also disappears over time, which was exactly what I needed. Then in the shader editor I only had to make sure that the ripple effect is where the masked areas are and voila, the first step is done. With that working and my motivation back at 100, I moved on to the next part, the water surface and distortion. This part was quite simple because all I had to do is just use some noise texture to distort the texture coordinates that feed into the Voronoi textures, but then something weird happened. Whenever I increased the scale of the Voronoi texture, I had this weird ancient text appear on my screen. If you know how to fix that, then let me know in the comments. But it's probably a bug, right? And by the way, here's the setup so far. The third one was actually the most interesting one, because the parallax was something I worked on before in one of my first YouTube tutorials. So I just had to watch it again to refresh my memory and then figure out a way to marry my existing node tree with the fake depth. I also added a simple texture just to see the parallax in action, but it would be best if you have something that actually looks like a riverbed instead of just random stylized rock texture from the internet like I have here. The results turned out pretty nice and now we have a depth to our water that we can control. I also added a mapping node to give the water surface movement another layer of complexity and also added some foam coming off from the objects in the water. At this point the node tree started to look messy already and we aren't even finished, but luckily the last part is also the easiest one, so we can just speed run through it. So I just copy over the existing Voronoi setup and to make sure it shows on the riverbed I use the fake depth coordinates. Then I have to do a little cleanup, adjust the scale and the color, then mix it all with the water effect that I have done so far and done. And this is just one of the many possible looks that you can achieve with this setup. For example, here's another. If you like Italian cuisine, then here's the main dish, spaghetti alla nodes. Feel free to pause and copy if you want, then proceed to adjust all the values to your liking and you're good to go. Psst, by the way, if this seems like too much of a hustle, then you can just grab the blend file from my download. Link in the description. You have just made an amazing looking stylized water shader in Blender using just a simple plane. Congratulations! And if you made it this far into the video, I'm really proud of you. You are the elite 1%, so let me know in the comments because I'd like to thank you personally. And that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!